gotten to that time of day where I'm going to cook some food. So a few of my bits of gear that I've gotten recently is a new cook pot and a new stove that um, I acquired from internet. And the uh, first one is my little uh, Tox Titanium. It's an 1100 cup. And uh, yeah, it came in quite cheap. I think it was only about 40 bucks off eBay and uh, it's light, I think, I believe it's 67 grams, if I remember rightly. Comes with a little lid. And uh, the other bit of gear, which I'm really excited to use, is my new little BRS titanium stove. And so I've got it set up and I've got the right amount of water I'm going to be using on dinner tonight and seems to go really good. Put it on helps the boil. I'm gonna to have to get myself a little stick to get this lid off which is about the only downside I can see to get that lid off. And the other thing I'm testing out is a uh, is a cook bag that I've made up myself just out of a um, insulated windscreen visor so that I can. Um, cook up some pasta and the idea is that I just pour the water in a bag just like any uh, dehydrated meal um, I put it in this bag here and you know just let it sit for 10 minutes and let it do the cooking so we'll see how that goes as well this is uh, thanks to Darwin on the trail check out his YouTube channel and uh, he'll show you how to make these, but man, it is easy. That's the water boiled there. And, yep, sweet. So the idea is, just your little, um, single pasta bag set up. Because these bags that they come in are actually foil lined just like your um, camp meals. So I'll just give it a bit of a stir up. Just go that goodness around. So what I'm going to have tonight is just a bit of Alfredo pasta. Go for the family size one because, you know, the single serve ones aren't enough for me. Give that a good stir around. Now if I gently try and refold it a bit, I'll just slide it into this um, that Ziploc bag and then down in the foil pack, fold it down, seal it up. I'll fold with the bottom, hopefully. Just stand there like that. Okay guys, it's been about 10 minutes, so let's crack her open and see how it looks. Already got my salmon there. Oh yeah, it's warm in there. Take her out and have a look. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah, that's cooked perfect. Beautiful. Win.
That is a definite win. This is the first time I've used that cook bag, so stoked with that. I think the actual whole visor, you can make about five of those bags out of it and a pot cozy. I actually made a pot cozy as well. I think it cost me about eight dollars from a um, from a super cheap auto. Yeah, so and a roll of duct tape. And that was it. And some little Velcro stickies and that was that was it and it's worked really really well. You know, so I think these pasta meals these pasta sides, I suppose you'd call them, cost about, you can get them on special for a dollar each, maybe a dollar fifty. And these little packets, I think, might cost two dollars. So, three bucks fifty for this meal. And you know, you could always whack some dehydrated uh, veggies in there as well. There is a few dehydrated vegetables in with the pasta. Um, put some peas and corn. If I thought about it earlier, I could have just brought a, a little bag of spinach, baby spinach leaves out with me um, to mix in with it. But, you know, for tonight this will be fine. But, wow, that's good. <laughs> that's real good. But for three bucks fifty, that's a definite saving on the twenty bucks that you'll why one of your dehydrated camp meals for. Mmm. That's a definite win. That's definitely going on the uh, on the hiking menu from now on. Because that is a huge saving in money. And using that cook bag, you know, that saves on gas too. You don't have to sit there and simmer it away for 10 minutes like it says to on the bag. Now I'm going to sit down. Another win, anyone that knows me, I'm all about the bargains. I know you can get, you know, the, the actual Ephemeris ones of these, these arse pads. I think they're about 15 bucks. I think I've got this puppy for two bucks, you know. And uh, it's just somewhere to rest your bum while you're eating your dinner, which is what I'm going to do right now. Um, anyway, so I'll be back after I eat my dinner. Cheers. Just finished my dinner and was just making a cup of coffee. And this little guy decided to come and hang out with me. Now, just for a little bit of scale, these guys are big. In Australia, we call them bull ants. I'm getting bitten by one. While it's not, uh, it's not going to kill you, it does bloody hurt. And um, <laughs> the first time my wife got bitten on the foot by one, she thought she was going to die. Yeah, so just something to watch out for. Big old bull ant. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Off you go.